Hello friend, we are discussing about juxtaglomerular apparatus. So for example, suppose I have taken the anatomy of your kidney and uh, this is the cortical part, the upper part is it is the cortex, is the cortex part and the lower part, this part is the medulla part as so this, this is the nephron, this is the nephron. So friend, so this part this part is the Bowman's capsule having glomerulus and this part is the distal convoluted tubule that is DCT. So I have taken the transverse section. So when I have taken the transverse section, the section when we move, we move to the, this section. So this part is normally the Bowman's capsules. This is the Bowman's capsule as you know. And uh, what happens in uh, this part is the afferent part. This is the afferent arterial part this is the afferent where the blood flows to this and this part leaving the blood is leaving that is the this is the efferent part got it so what happens this afferent part is normally made up of as you know it is normally made up of smooth muscles it is normally made up of smooth muscles so what happens most of the smooth muscles present are modified they are modified so it is modified and the modified into a special cell that is called as juxta glomerular cells got it so these green colors are the juxta glomerular cells so these green color juxta glomerular cells contains an enzyme that is called as renin the most important enzyme of kidney that is called as the renin is present here so this modified cells that is called as juxtaglomerular cells. So this this inner one this inner one is the glomerulus is the glomerulus and this is the friend. So what happened? This part this is the DCT distal converted tubules. As it is this one is this part. So this part so this part this part they are very present near to each other. As you see here, they are present nearer. So this is also present nearer to each other. For which we call them nearer means juxta. Juxta means what? It means what? Nearer to. So what happens? Now this juxta glomerular apparatus, this juxta glomerular cells here, and this is the DCT. The DCT facing towards this juxta glomerular cells are this color are modified into dense patches. And these dense patches are called as macula densa. These dense patches are called as macula densa. The major role of macula densa is to sense the nature of sodium, the amount of sodium, the concentration of sodium present in the proximal convoluted tubules or in the nephrons. So, and the yellow color cells present here is called as a lassie cells. Got it? This is called as a special connective tissue cells, called as the Lassie cells. So this macula densa send information to this Lassie cells, and these Lassie cells sell information to these juxtaglomerular cells, and these juxtaglomerular cells then synthesize the enzymes that is called as renin. They synthesize the enzyme that is called as renin, and these renin moves through these blood vessels to the circulatory system and send message with the help of liver and angiotensinogen which I will discuss later will help in constricting these vessels to minimize the vessel diameter vessels of this afferent and as a result the pressure gets balanced whatever the pressure present in the circulatory system but the pressure in the kidney in the nephron will be balanced by these mechanisms so collectively this whole system collectively this whole system the whole system the whole system this system which i am labeling together the form a unit that is called as apparatus and we call them as what now juxta juxta glomerular glomerular apparatus so this juxta glomerular apparatus helps in maintaining balance within the kidney for reabsorption sodium concentration whatever may be the pressure in the circuit system so hello friend hope you enjoyed this and in my next video i'll teach i'll give you the details about the ras mechanisms okay thank you hello friends today we are going to learn about juxtaglomerular apparatus 
so what is just a glomerular apparatus so actually 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 juxta juxta means nearer it means nearer near to so as you know so as you know friends it is so as you friend know what to mean by juxta glomerular apparatus <coughs> normally juxta glomerular apparatus is present near to it so this is the structure of the nephrons as you know for example this part this part of the blood vessels as we know is called as the afferent it is called as the afferent it is the afferent part so here the blood vessels the blood is moving through this afferent duel and this part as you know is the glomerulus is the is the glomerulus and this part as you know for example we call them um, for we call them as what afferent tubules and this is the bowman's capsules as you know it is the bowman's capsules and this is the pct this is the pct present and this part is the dct present dct and this part is the collecting duct present so what happens so these are the these are these the orange color cells are normally these are the modified these are the modified smooth muscles these are the modified smooth muscle cells present which are present near to the near to the glomerulus they are present very nearer they are present very nearer to the glomerulus so this group of cells this particular group of this orange color group of cells together present near to the glomerulus is normally called as the is called as juxta glomerular cells this is called as juxta glomerular cells as you know so when suppose the blood coming from the circulatory system and the blood pressure is for example low so when the blood pressure is low normally what happens the pressure inside the afferent will be also very low so when it also low so here it will also very low pressure so as there is a low pressure so what happen the filtration rate will also be very low so when the filtration rate becomes very low so most of the sodium gets filter normally all are filtered but the sodium filtration is the ion sodium ion filtration is getting maxed so as it moves to the pct so most of the sodium gets reabsorbed maximum 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 sodium so maximum of sodium gets reabsorbed maximum sodium gets reabsorbed so when the maximum sodium gets reabsorbed and when the it moves to the henle loop when the sodium the sodium concentration the sodium concentration is very low so as the sodium concentration very low when you moves up to the ascending loop here what happens a special type of cells present to detect the sodium concentration and that is called as that is called as macula densa and this macula densa what happens it normally senses it normally detects it normally senses or detects detects the sodium concentration sodium ion concentration so as a result this gives message this gives message to a special cells present that is a connective tissue and this connective tissue is called as the lassi lassi cells and these lassi cells then activates the juxta glomerular cells these lassi cells then activates the juxta glomerular cells so as a result what happens the juxta glomerular cells synthesize synthesis a special proteins a special enzymes that is called as it is special enzyme it synthesizes that is called as renin so these renin then moves into this renin then moves into the blood vessels so these renin now flow this renin and flow and it flows to the circulatory system and when it returns come it constricts the diameter normally what happen it normally constricts or it lowers the diameter it it normally what happen it, it constricts the diameter of afferent 
of afferent arterioles. So as a result, what happens when the blood constricts, the pressure now increases. Here what happens, the pressure increases. When the pressure increases, the sodium concentration, the sodium reaction also decreases. The sodium decreases and the normal sodium present. So as a result, when this sensor detects, it detects the normal sodium. So collectively, this whole group, collectively this whole group works as a common function. So this whole system, this total system forms an apparatus and we call them as what now that is called as juxta glome ruler what apparatus so this whole system this whole groups works as a collective manner for which we named as juxta glomerular because it's present near to it so this is how this juxta glomerular apparatus plays a major role in maintaining pressure balance for filtration okay friend thanks hope you enjoyed this as this video will help you for your entrance exam